Could have helped me today. Uh, yeah. You're right. Could have. You almost got me thrown out. You called him my friend. Who? Elliot. You said you were not my friend who died. Yeah, I did. So what? Well, he wasn't my friend. He was my partner. My lover. I used to hate those words, but Elliot's father hated them more, so I grew to love them. Elliot's father, you may have heard of him. Sir Lawrence Bishop. No, he owns just about everything in the UK, including his family. When we first met, Elliot was messing around with boys in the back rooms of bars, all the while dating appropriate women. That's appropriate by his father's standards, because they were women. I didn't mean to fall for him. I'd never fallen for anyone. You see, I, I, I'm quite surprised you hadn't heard of Sir Bishop, because he's a good old-fashioned righteous Anglican. He wanted his only son to be so, too. It's his... His legacy. You see, we still believe in that kind of stuff where I'm from. But uh, when he found out that Elliot and me were more than friends, he cut him off. Closed every door. Said if he wanted back, he had to come back a man. And, well, Elliot hadn't worked a day in his life, so he had nothing. Well, he had nothing but me. And that lasted about three months. And then he was gone. I tried to see him, but I couldn't find him. His family wouldn't talk to me. I reached out to his sister, who tried, but they got to her too, and he stopped returning my calls. So... I stopped calling. A year goes by. In the mail... A wedding invitation. So Lawrence Bishop invites you to attend the wedding of his son. And I think... Is this a joke? Is, is someone, someone trying to, to screw with me? Or may, maybe it was him, you know? Maybe it was a cry for help. But whatever it was, I didn't answer. Six months later, I come home from a night out, and there he is, in my house, looking like the wrath of God had hit him. He was strung out or drunk. Couldn't tell. Wanted to know if I still loved him. Wanted to know why I didn't stop him. Couldn't help him. But whatever I said, it didn't matter because he realised then that he couldn't have them and me. He'd trapped himself in. There's no way out. And before I knew what he was doing, he grabbed a knife from the kitchen counter and ran himself through with it. Ah, uh, well, not once, not twice. Three times. I tried to save him. I did. But there was so much blood. Just be true to yourself, Sebastian. Whatever that is. Yeah, there may be sin inside of you, and that's what you truly believe. It'll be there forever. If there is, then tell her, OK? Tell her like you told me. Because then... You won't be in prison alone. <laughs>